In this video I show you two uncommon but effective ways to prevent a horrible hangover after drinking. With the Christmas season coming up, many of us will end up drinking more than usually. And if you're anything like me, you probably also hate the feeling of being unproductive and feeling totally sick the next day after drinking. And I actually have explored two ways to prevent or at least reduce the hangover. So here's what I found. First we need to understand what causes a hangover. Sure, dehydration and the loss of electrolytes contribute to it. However, everyone knows to drink a lot of water and pop some mineral pills, but for me personally, this never helped very much. This is because the main hangover culprit is a molecule called acid aldehyde, which is the first degradation product of ethanol. Acid aldehyde is about 10 to 30 times more toxic than alcohol itself, and it can remain elevated for many hours after drinking. One reason to think that acid aldehyde is causing the hangover is what happens when the breakdown of it is blocked. A drug called Tisoforam inhibits the breakdown of acid aldehyde by blocking the acid aldehyde dehydrogenase and causes a person to feel sick even after drinking small amounts of alcohol. It is also used as a questionable method to prevent alcoholics from drinking. About 40% of East Asians have a mutation in the gene for the acid aldehyde dehydrogenase which leads to facial flushing after drinking, which is commonly known as Asian flush. Not too surprising then is the fact that the Japanese developed an anti-hangover drink that is supposed to prevent hangovers by upregulating the acid aldehyde dehydrogenase. Uko no Shikara translates to the power of turmeric and contains about 30 mg of curcumin, which has been used in a study to inhibit alcohol intoxication by reducing acid aldehyde concentrations. Volunteers were asked to consume 0.5 ml ethanol per kilogram body weight, which is the equivalent to about 2.5 beers for a person of my size, and either consumed 30 mg of curcumin or a placebo. The scientists found that the blood acid aldehyde concentrations were significantly lower in the group that also consumed the curcumin. There is only one problem, the body doesn't easily absorb curcumin. But a study found that piperin, a component of black pepper, improves the bioavailability. To best absorb curcumin, mix it with some pepper in hot water and add some fat, because curcumin is a fat soluble molecule. My second uncommon tip is based on some observations I made throughout the years. If for whatever reasons I had drinks for two days in a row, I felt better on the third day than I did on the second day. So let's say there's a wedding on a Saturday and because I see all my old friends I end up drinking too much and feel terrible on a Sunday. Now I notice that I feel better on a Sunday morning when I had some drinks already on the Friday before. Here's what I think happens. When we first have a little bit of alcohol, our body starts to upregulate the enzymes responsible for the degradation of it, which then stay elevated for a few days. The same is true for other biochemical pathways, like the production of antioxidants or inflammatory molecules. Once the gene expression is induced, proteins are produced, and it takes a while for the proteins to be degraded again and usually stay elevated for a few days. I'm not necessarily recommending that you should try the second method, as you end up drinking on an additional day, which isn't really about optimizing your health. And the best solution would probably be to only drink a little bit in general, when you don't want to have a hangover. But sometimes, life happens. Here's a video where I talk about another life hack and explain how I stopped getting sick. YouTube thinks that you might like this video. Consider subscribing, thank you for watching and see you next time.